The z-test is used to test the mean when population standard deviation sigma is known. To get to it on the TI calculator, go to STAT, over to TESTS, and then click on Z-Test. Next, make sure to select Data if you are given the values, and select Stats if you are given the summary statistics, like this problem. Let's go ahead and read the problem. The local hardware store claims their screws have a length of 2 inches with a standard deviation of 0.3 inches. In this example, 2 inches is the hypothesized population mean known as mu naught. 0.3 inches is the true population standard deviation. A random sample of 100 screws found a sample mean of 2.06 inches. The 100 screws is the sample size and 2.06 is the sample mean known as X bar. Do we have evidence to suggest that the two inch screws they sell are longer than they claim? In this instance, we are talking about the alternative hypothesis. We want to see, is there evidence that the true mean is greater than the hypothesized mean of two? If you remember, we've already entered in two as our hypothesized mean. Make sure to select the correct alternative hypothesis on the screen. Finally, we can go to calculate or draw. Calculate will give more values, but draw will show us the distribution. The normal distribution will show us just how far away we landed. We landed with a z-score of 2, and the probability of our results or results more extreme happening due to random chance variation given that the null is true is 0.0228. In this instance, we would usually reject the null with an alpha of 0.05 and say there is evidence that the true mean of these screws lengths is greater than 2.